Salutations everyone, welcome back, welcome back to another video here. We're just gonna go ahead and just do a quick comparison of three Inslee Rain palettes, as you'll see in the thumbnail. I had to think, like my brain, just had finals for summer semester. Uh, this was the most intense several weeks of my life. I took a full-time course load in a fraction of the time for school because I am trying to graduate um, ASAP. I'm exhausted. Um, healthcare is no joke, but I didn't get into healthcare to be rich or to be braggy or braggadocious. Um, but uh, I do it because I love it and I love to help people. And it's actually kind of cool. Some there are actually some interesting facets of it. But anywho, it's that's like for another video. Um, once I actually catch up on some sleep. <laughs> so uh, let's get into the video. First up is the Cosmic Dreamer palettes. So here is the original and <clears throat> excuse me, allergies are kicking my boot. Uh, pollen is bad. So here's the original. And here is the new revamped version. And we're gonna open these up. And let's just take note of the size difference. So the original is much smaller in scale. I wish they would have kept the same small uh, palette. Also, it's thinner. I will show a comparison at the end um, of this, showing like side, like holding them together, like like that showing that but let's just take a look at that I'm not gonna do any swatches because what I'm exhausted I've worked 32 hours in two days so I did just two doubles um, yeah, working over 50 plus hours in four days is exhausting okay I can't healthcare no joke any hoosies. So, as you can see, the original had more neutral tones and mattes, um, and the revamped is more colorful. It still has some of that grungy tone, some of the matte, like some of the neutral mattes or neutral colors, but obviously more pops, more pinks, as you notice, more pinks, more oranges. Here, it's more grungier more browns, more beiges, more orangey, burnt tones, especially this section here. Definitely more, like that green section is a little bit more layered and spread out here. There's still multi-chromes. This is a multi-chrome here. I think they put it, they also redid the layout. Uh, the pans come out. Uh, let me get my little grabber tool. Okay, so I popped the shade out with my little grabber. So the shades are removable they're not like adapt where they they have the shades written on the back which is actually a really nice touch from adapt um <clears throat> sorry i didn't mean to do that in everybody's ear <laughs> um So they did, you know, they switched out some of the shimmers. They added some shimmers. There are more shimmers to the palette than there were. So there were more mattes or more like mm, regular metallic satin shades in the original one. Most of the names are the same for the most part. Um, here, I'll just push this up and take a gander. Let's just keep them in frame here. So on the original, you got Moonchild, Enlightened, Stargazer, Visionary, Cosmic Dust, Dreamscape, Wild Child, Uninhibited, Meraki, Lunar Storm, Dreamy, Enthusiastic, Lucidity, Spontaneous, Eccentric, Cosmic Queen, Wild Hearted, Wanderer, Free Spirit, Dream World, Radical, Serendipity, Imaginative, Astral Body, and Eclip Ecliptic. And then in the new one, you have Milky Way, which is a new shade, Dreamscape, Cosmic Queen, Visionary, Astral Traveler, new one, Antimatter, new one, Stargazer, Meraki, Interplanetary, I've 
<laughs> it took everything in me not to sing Beastie Boys. Uh, that just shows you such a millennial Gen Y right there. <laughs> Spacey, ethereal plane, dreamer, lucidity, eclectic, wanderer, dreamer, mercury, intergalactic, <laughs> Uh, astral plane, wild hearted, cosmic dust, astral body, lunar storm, Neptune, and eclipse. So, lunar storm obviously looks different. I will do a swatch of lunar storm from this palette, and then so here's lunar storm from the old palette, and then lunar storm from the new palette. New, old. Honestly, let's get a little better one. It's a little bit creamier in the new one. But honestly, is it weird? I like the shift and I like how it looks and feels in the old palette. Is that weird? But it's creamier. in the new one. Again, on my index finger, it's the new one. I said I was gonna do swatches and yet here I do a swatch I just wanted to include at least a swatch at least of like one or sh one or two shades out of the palette at least my favorite my favorite shade is it just me or just the old shade and then on my uh, my middle finger <laughs> not flipping the bud <laughs> but the middle finger is the old formula so I'm gonna hold it by here and that is the old lunar storm shade again the shifts are still gorgeous they still do the same shift this one again new formula creamier feels nice this one I don't know seems it's just much smoother I like the texture better and the old one <laughs> I'm conflicted because I'm actually going to give away my old one to a friend I'm not going to keep it there's no reason to keep two of the same palettes even though the new one is updated I know you can see my fan in the background it's hot guys I have my air turned low it's hot okay it's hot it's like 99 degrees here in the Midwest it's boiling um but yeah just wanted to give like a finger swatch I'm so conflicted <laughs> okay I'm gonna wipe off the swatches and then we're gonna get into the other palette but I just want to show you that and then we're gonna compare the like thickness side by side and the sizes real quick okay okay so here's front to front so then as you can see it's just a fraction look how much smaller it is and then look at the difference and like thinness again this one is a little thinner this and it's also much lighter this one heftier because of the magnetic pans um, this one definitely has more heft this one much lighter due to the no magnetic pans so just again I want to show you just what it looks like from the side on the backs this one just has like a little bit of an iridescent this one has like the cosmic like Milky Way galaxy look on the back this one just very plain on the back very nice very basic Next up is Strawberry Moon. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'm never gonna rebuy the this. I loved my original. And then I was like, uh, but there's a sale. <laughs> and in a moment of weakness and sadness, and I needed a serot and a dopamine boost, I bought it. <laughs> Cause some like school ooh, hit my camera uh, school you know made me sad you know even though I was busting my hump for most of my classes like my charge nurses they saw that like 
and my case studies, my evidence-based practice classes. They're just like, I'm not tooting my own horn. I am not humble bragging. But I carried straight A's through most of my classes and working 100 hours bi-weekly, you know, for the most part. I'm exhausted. Like, so what was like my outlet? Buying makeup. I didn't even get to like read for fun. So I've got like eight to 12 books that I physically have sitting on my bed that I'm going to delve into. And my TBR list, I've got like, hundreds oh I can't wait I can't wait no I can't wait ah. historical books fictional books nonfiction schmutt no <laughs> but let's get into uh strawberry moon okay okay here is strawberry moon okay just tuck that in there okay yeah, I was just trying to get it all into frame for the most part, the top row pretty much remains the same, except these swap. I don't know, I didn't check the website, but these swap, actually, this and this one in the original, Oasis is a matte, and Lithia is a shimmer, and the new one, Oasis is a shimmer, and Lithia is a matte. I don't know, maybe they swapped that by accident in my packaging. I should look that up on the Inslee Rain website. Hang on. You know what? I'm going to go look on their website. Okay, so I pulled it up. Focus. Focus. And. Nope. As you can see, they did. They made it a Shema. So I just want to make sure that they didn't like switch the shades around. Nope. Okay. So I wasn't weird. Weirded out. Okay. Cool beans. Okay. So here we be. Satin blankets get so linty. <laughs> so here is the old one. Here is the new one. So, just like I stated before, I took a break to go look on their website. Top row pretty much remains the same other than these two switch and they reverse. One becomes a Shema, one becomes a Mott. So, Oasis and Lithia switch. Pool Party still remains a beautiful shimmer. But they changed the names. So, this is originally Pool Party and Summer Solstice. And the new pat in the new in the new pattern in the new palette it becomes Eden and Lagoon, but then this this shade here is called Pool Party. Awaken, and this is also but Awaken is no longer a shimmer. Awaken is a matte, and then this is called Moon Dance, and this is called Summer Solstice. So they've added shades. So the blue, like it's beautiful. So it's beautiful. Oops, sorry if that was crooked. Oh no, oh no. Okay. All right. Let's just bring these together. Okay, this seems a little bit better. Kind of look at it top on top so sun kissed and the old palette is poppy and the new one radiant in the old palette is where the old like here that is sun kissed so again they switched Poppy was never in the old one. So then they added Poppy and made it the shade of Sunkissed. Made Sunkissed a beautiful matte. Radiant becomes a different colored matte from the old one. Golden Glow stays a beautiful same similar colored shimmer. Peruvian Lily 
they're both the same shade um, let's see rose moon is still the same like beautiful multi-chrome as you can see that shift as I moved it and then the lunar glow is a hollow chrome so we're gonna swanchy the old one like it's a beautiful like multi-chrome holochrome and lunar glow from the new one doo -doo 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 -doo. actually very similar so oh. so here is the old strawberry moon new strawberry moon this one you can barely tell the difference honestly and honestly the formula feels pretty much identical in texture in both the pans and on the finger it feels identical so yeah yeah <laughs> So let's just keep going. Next row. Montbretia. Montbretia and the new one is a different shade, same name. So it's this light yellow matte, kind of the same color that this one is, Sunkissed, is now Montbretia. And then Summer Love is the same color as Snapdragon. Strawberry Moon. Looks like it's a lighter version. Honestly, I love the color of Summer Moon in the old palette. Um, there. And then Strawberry Moon in the new palette. I don't know if the light, because the it's trying to thunderstorm here, so I'm trying to, like, it's oscillating between bright sunshine and cloud like like overcast and trying to storm and just be a pain in the patoot here in the midwest uh, <laughs> but um trying to just film with natural light <laughs> but any who's it's i love the shade strawberry moon look at that beautiful like fuchsia purple oh so pretty zinnia in the old strawberry moon is now ranunculus in the new palette or it's kind of like a similar shade or it's a well no because there's zinnia in the new palette too but it's like a shade between strawberry moon and zinnia and then there's a shade between those two in there I feel like they kind of put a shade between it because the zinnia and the new one doesn't feel like I don't know if the light is like it's not giving <laughs> it is not giving what I wanted to give um <laughs> it's it's a shade in between I feel like the colors those three there are the three there right you see that are similar and then they add in this one and they took away well actually that shade there really matches this shade up here so they just took it from the bottom of the thing and they put it there with all the blues so then they just swapped it out so that all the blues could be in one line the yellowy shades could be in one line and this shade could be in one line so then butterfly bush is now up at the top and it's called Awaken no longer Butterfly Bush and Butterfly Bush is now this burgundy shade at the bottom you know so they changed it I feel like they changed the names and I feel like they amped up and like desaturated some of the colors in the newer palette and they kind of put colors in between you know between you know revamping the old one to the newer ones you know, obviously the, the old palette is smaller, as you can see, it has no uh, mirror and it literally can fit right where the mirror is. It's much smaller. Um, 
lighter and again my favorite like multi chromy shade old new feels identical in the pan So, love that. Okay, as I show you, just a comparison. Here is literally me just fitting the old one in front of the new one. As you can see, look at that space off to the side. And then they're like the same thinness like in regards to like slim packaging but then again this one old one so much lighter it's again extremely lightweight very very light then this one much 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 heftier due to the magnetic packaging you know since it has the the removable pans oh as you can see my bookshelf and some of my makeup collection over there <laughs> um but yeah last but least is flower moon so let's get into it okay look at the gorgeousness gorgeousness that is both honestly both of them are gorgeous and i don't like some of the changes in the new one i feel this grungy row right here in the original one was pretty great. I do like the fact that they kind of replace this kind of gray shade in Renew and made Renew like this kind of grungy browny cool tone brown. Great. I don't like the fact that Wild Mayflowers, not Wildflowers, uh, is lighter. I do like that it was deeper in the old palette. What am I going to do with like a fleshy tone shade? I don't. This shows up on my skin. This looks ashy. Uh, so. Let's just go over like row by row. And let's just take a gander. All right. In the original, we have Bloom, Pink Moon, Freesia, Flower Moon, Persephone, Dahlia, April Showers, Refresh, Primrose, Bliss, I'm gonna probably butcher this, Fourth Scythia, Awakening, Sapling, Sprout, Lush, Rejuvenate, Peony, Mayflowers, Meadow, Budding, and Renew. That is in the old Flower Moon. Lucky for us, they actually kept all the same names. The packaging becomes just a little bit harder to read, just a smidge because they added in like the flower, like the same packaging on the outside with the pretty mushrooms and flowers and things like that on the inside where you know the pans are. But it's the same: Bloom, Pink Moon, Freesia, Flower Moon, Persephone, Dahlia, April Showers. Refresh, Primrose, Bliss, Fourth Scythia, Awakening, Sapling, Sprout, Lush, Rejuvenate, Peony, wild, uh, Mayflowers, I don't know why I want to call it Wildflower and there's nothing wild about it, Meadow, Budding, and Renew. <laughs> and this is in the new formula, so I just wanted to put them, stack them side by side. And they pretty much kept the story pretty much the same except bloom is lighter and brighter in the new one so we're gonna swatch those okay so we're gonna swatch bloom so on my index finger bloom in the old flower moon palette oh it's the kind of a chunky shade yeah and then bloom also chunky but much smoother yeah it's, they're both chunky but a little bit smoother and I guess I'll pick up a little bit more on bloom in the old flower moon bloom in the new flower moon as you can see bloom just kind of get it in there 
focus. Focus. Okay. So, it's much, honestly, it's brighter in the pans, but when you look it on the finger, though, they almost look identical. So, what did they do? That's my uh, wipe rag <laughs> right next to my, my, uh, right there but when you look at it they don't look dissimilar they they look the same they they look very similar honestly is that just me same shiny like they look very beautiful very shiny similar level of shine but like this is something you'd have to like tap out and like okay you know what Let's look at my thumb. Yeah, I mean, I'm just going, yeah, you know, I'm just kind of admiring it. It is very pretty, though. Oh my gosh, I'm just geeking out. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, I mean, with a little glitter glue and a little finesse. This is not the kind of shade I like to wear on my eyes, though. Ugh. Came back, my hands are a little glittery, but still. It's, it's not the kind of shade I like to wear, but it's still very pretty. Um, Pink Moon is deeper, and this one, okay, we're gonna swatch Pink Moon. And the old one, Pink Moon, and the new one. Pink Moon and the old one, Pink Moon and the new one. Yeah, as you can see, the multi-chrome is chroming. The second one, not so much. It's just a regular pretty pink shimmer in the original, and it's a multi-chrome in the second, uh, in the new revamped one. Again, it's gorgeous. So, two finger swatches. The pink moon, pink moon. Old flower moon, pink moon, new pink moon. I'm not gonna sing Nuke Drake. I love that song. <laughs> Okay, and you know what? We're gonna swatch the matte. You know what? Because here's Mayflower and the old. Yeah, we're gonna swatch a matte. See that? Matte and the old. Um, older version of Flower Moon. And then Mayflower. If I called it Wildflower again, I'm gonna kick myself. And the new revamped. See, that's almost the color of my finger pad. The, the, that's flesh tone. You see that one? That gives you a little bit more body. This is, this reminds me of my ballet shoes. Like when I took ballet. <laughs> this is like the color of ballet shoes. Like it's almost ballet pink, ballet slipper pink. When you swatch it out, it's almost the color of my, it's fleshy color. No. This, the old one, much preferred Mayflower. This one, no. If I could, I'd pop it out and put that shade in here, but I can't. But I thought I'd swatch that matte. And then, you know what, we'll swatch another matte. We'll swatch Renew from the old one and Renew from the new one. All right, with clean, clean fingers, let's swatch Renew. Renew. Oh, that's definitely gray. And then this is like, which that shade would have looked great in cold moon. <laughs> and oh yeah, look at that kind of cool tone, chocolatey brown, like cool tone, brown. This is dusty. This is like soot. I mean, it does look like the ground, like, you know, something gardeny. So. But yeah, so 
old flower moon, new flower moon. Renew, old renew, new renew. Old renew, new renew. So I just thought I'd give you guys like, don't mind like, my, there's my, my backpack. Like I have school stuff everywhere in my room. <laughs> Oh, in an apartment. Like, I've got stuff everywhere. <sighs> okay. So. Like, you just saw, like, my compression hose and my backpack on the floor. <laughs> uh, like, I, I really don't care because it's lived in. My apartment's lived in. So, yeah, it's real. Okay. Um, but yeah, so old renew, new renew. Okay, oh, I keep hitting the camera. Okay, so, and then there's the shade difference in Lush. I kind of like Lush. I like both iterations of Lush. You know, like that grungy shade of Lush and then this light bud like it's like a new bud like a new bud plant bud growing of lush i like both so i'm not mad at it you know and then let's compare sizes all right so you can see both actually have mirrors so that's actually great so both came with a mirror and both obviously have the similar ugh shimmers and all sorts of crumbly from bloom um same out outside similar packaging you know just revamped um it's more raised this is very flat this is raised can you, you hear my finger going over that my nail this is flat there's no raised uh lettering on this one flower moons lettering is raised on this one Endley rain cosmetics is raised on this one this is all flat um it's pretty though it's very pretty okay and as you can see like the size difference like there and then you can see here like that on the sides and then again, even with a mirror, but no magnetic pans. This one does have a little bit more heft because of a mirror, but it's still much lighter. It feels um, close in weight to the Strawberry Moon palette and, and Cosmic uh, Dust or Dreamer, Cosmic Dust. <laughs> uh, this just shows you how much I need sleep. But it, it feels like the Cosmic Dreamer palette. It's light, even though it has a mirror. It's much lighter because of no magnetic pans again more hefty because of the co um, cosmetic <laughs> <laughs> the magnetic pans I need sleep you guys um and here's the back like beautifully like the mushrooms this one not so much just look pretty moons on the back um a little bit more like, like ingredients and their handles and uh, not their handles but like you know Pita ingredients, duochrome, matte ingredients, and then here where they're distributed and all that kind of stuff. I truly hope you enjoy this video. Um, I hope it was helpful to you. Um, Insley Rain is a newer indie brand out in the market. They've been out for a little bit, but I, I truly enjoy their products. Um, when I purchased that, I even got a free... lipstick um, it's not really a shade I wear but uh, it's pretty as you can see it's like a lipstick thing it's really pretty though I prefer like my nudes a little bit more chocolatey brown um, when I wear nude shades like I like deep deep browns um, because those suit my skin tone best um, I think those are definitely more flattering on me um what else yeah I, again i just hope it was helpful 
Um, this is not just to say bye, 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 you know, because we're already in the consumerism, capitalism, you know, uh, things. For me, I'm obviously guilty of it. I'm trying to buy less, but sometimes I just, I see sparkly things and I'm like, ooh, pretty. And I only have two sets of eyes and I can only gift so much makeup to so many friends and family members and I do have a lot of friends and family members that do love makeup and do enjoy it so that's the one great perk of being able to have so much is that I can gift and give a lot to friends and family so that's great um and there's co-workers actually that do enjoy it too so that's the nice perk um I really hope that kind of make, helps you make a decision. So if you have any of the older palettes, if you want to just be like, no, nah, I'm going to keep my old ones. Or you know what? Maybe I like the newer ones. I hope that makes you make a decision. Or you're just like, no, I want both. Or I want none. I hope that helps you. Um, <laughs> or this was entertainment for you and my lack of sleep and weird laughter entertained you I hope this was pure entertainment for you <laughs> I hope you enjoyed I really did but this is the end and I appreciate it so much that you stuck around with me for like 40 minutes thank you so much I think this is 55 minutes and I think I've gotten this edited down hopefully to like fif less than 50 because this is I've been on this for almost an hour so I think this is under an hour now once I've edited it uh, a little bit so uh thank you for sticking with me for so long um i appreciate you all peace easy this is the end for now i will see you in the next video uh please let somebody know that you you know that you haven't talked to in a while please 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 it would behoove you again to make not only smart choices but also to let the person know that you love them please you never know when the last time that you speak to them is the last time it also behooves you to wash your hands wash it off be clean uh be well be good do good take care of yourselves take care of one another all right make smart choices okay be good take it easy take it easy on yourselves it's already chaotic in the world as it is and i really hope my little weird odd corner of the interwebs is entertaining for you just to take your mind off of some things um okay i appreciate every last one of you and i will see you in the next one bye bye